Hey everybody, it's Dave. All people, free people, how you guys been? Haven't made a video in a while and I uh, just really needed to get myself together and do that. So here I am and uh, you know, I've sat here thinking about what I was gonna talk about and I'm really not sure, so we're just gonna let it roll. It's gonna be on natural and we'll just go with it. And uh, I guess the first thing I wanna do is show off my new shirt. Look there, flat earth debate, real nice. These are high quality t-shirts, man. This is really nice stuff. Nathan, you really outdid yourself. I, I, I don't know who you got this through, but it was easy to order and uh, came in a hurry. I, coming from England too, I was really amazed how fast I got it and uh, fits like a glove and uh, it's really high quality fabric. You know, I, I expected it. American t-shirts, they just stick it on the cheapest shirt they can. This one's really nice. I mean, it, it's comfortable, it fits, it's, Anyway, okay, that's that. Thank you, Nathan. Uh, I don't know, where do I go from here? I uh, watched a really great video today. It's actually two videos. A gentleman by the name of D.R. Lee, and I, you guys may have run into him in chats before, but this was his first video pertaining to Flat Earth, and man, what a great video. Best first video I've ever seen. I just really... I had goosebumps through the whole thing. He really, his testimony is amazing. You guys check that out because, uh, yeah, it just, I'll let, like I say, I'll leave a link in the description because uh, it's it's definitely worth going over there and like it, subscribe too, man. This guy's gonna be something else. He's gonna be a he's gonna be a force to be reckoned with. So that's that. And uh, want to say hi to all my friends down there. Arizona's on fire. We're talking coffee. We're talking palm trees. Frankie's been busy. He's been, uh, boy, he's been interviewing people lately, and uh, he's really getting good at that. That's uh, something I, I really admire, that he can get out there and just reach the general public. It's a hard thing to do. So today, well, I guess let's see. Saturday, yesterday morning. Uh, okay, we're going to back up. Three weeks ago, I got baptized for the first time, and it was a really great experience. My children got baptized, I got baptized, and uh, it's something I should have done a long time ago, but uh, we got her done, and, and it was great. We uh, all went to uh, a church that is, the pastor is my, my, my mother-in-law's sister, had a daughter who married the pastor's son. <laughs> I think I got that right. And so we'd known him, we'd seen him at family events, and it was real comfortable to go there, go to his church. Great service. Uh, um, Gabby and Peter, they both, both uh, they kind of co-pastor, and they give great sermons. And uh, So anyway, uh, got baptized, and then... Uh, Peter wrote me, he emailed me, Peter, the, the pastor, emailed me and said, hey, uh, I'd like to have breakfast with you. And I, great, yeah, that'd be great. So we set up a time for yesterday morning. We, we met, we went to uh, Little John's, which is a blue collar restaurant just down the road. And it was nice. I, I mean, I think that was nice of him to, he probably eats in nicer places, but he, we went to Little John's and, uh, had breakfast, had a great meeting, just really got to know each other better and uh, talked about our families and everything. And uh, well, and thinking of Frankie and Mac, I couldn't help myself there towards the end. I just said, look, just so you know, and, and I'm going to I'm going to be going to the church now. It's it's uh, I'm baptized. I mean, I certainly think that uh, I can always learn more. I can always grow. So we're going to church there. But right as he was leaving, I just wanted to let him know. I said, hey, here's the deal. I'm different than most people. And he's housed that, Dave. And I said, well, I believe the earth is flat and motionless. The look on his face was priceless, you guys. I was so wishing that I had a camera because it would have made a great video, but I didn't. It uh, Definitely, you can see it made him uncomfortable. I think mostly probably because I'm kind of deaf, so I talk loud. And uh, I think he was afraid that other people in the restaurant were hearing this conversation. So I think that was making him uncomfortable. And heck, I'm I'm comfortable in my own skin. I'm, I don't worry about things like that. So it was really good. And uh, 
So today I went to church and, uh, you know, for as embarrassed as he looked yesterday, today he was really nice, really, and his wife was really nice. Uh, Gabby came over and talked to me after the service. And, uh, you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say you may have looked into it. You know, it's a, it's a biblical truth. And I think that it's important as flat earthers, especially us in the Christian community who are flat earthers, we need to start going to church, people, and we need to start gently discussing the shape of the earth, the non-movement of the earth. I don't think you go in the first week and you just start beating up people over the head with it. I don't think that's going to work real well. But uh, in a disarming way, as you get to know people, if you can, in a disarming way, just say, look, I believe the earth is flat and motionless and this is why. Don't push too hard, but put it out there. Uh, it's all about the long game. That first time you tell someone the earth is flat, of course they're shocked. Of course, they, they want to run. They, <laughs> they are not ready to hear this. And uh, I'm just glad that it, it, it's going the way it is. And I'm going to continue to go to church and every Sunday. And, you know, maybe I won't bring up flat earth for another month. But uh, I think... I think that uh, there's an end there. I think we're going to find a lot of people who uh, our message will resonate with. So that's that. Let's see, what else? What else has been going on? Hey, uh, you guys have probably all seen the video for the uh, Flat Earth documentary Behind the Curve. You know, it's it's we've only seen the trailer... I'm really excited by the trailer. I thought it was a great trailer. I, you know, really got me fired up for the, the for the movie. To be honest, I'm dying to see it. Now, of course, I've heard people have seen it, and their opinion is, well, it makes flat earthers look bad. And hello, people, you're never going to go out and say, hey, the earth is flat, and someone's going, you're right. Hey, the earth is flat. No, it's you're always going to have that initial shock, the initial rejection. The, the initial hey you're stupid but you're gonna have to go through that to be able to get to the point where they start to take you seriously so ice needs to be broken and I think that uh, Mark and Patricia did a really good job of doing that I'm looking forward to the movie also while I was watching the trailer I noticed Mark Sargent juggled and I thought wow that's cool I used to juggle I juggled back in uh Junior high. There was a guy that used to come around to the high, the junior highs and the high schools, and he would, you know, get the the PE class together, and he'd show them how to juggle. He'd, you know, you'd start with scarves, then you'd go to juggling balls, and uh, you know, most people didn't take it seriously, but me and my best friend, we uh, we enjoyed it. We got kind of hooked on it, and we, so we started juggling, and we got pretty good. And I'll bet it wasn't three weeks after we first learned how to juggle that uh there was a what they called a juggle-a-thon and it was you'd get pledges and then you'd go and you'd juggle and you'd collect and collect money for charity so we said hey let's do the juggle-a-thon so we did that and uh well it turned out at the end they said hey we're gonna everybody's gonna juggle if you drop go home and uh, we're juggling to see who is going to go on TV tomorrow to go for the world record juggling. So we all started juggling, and about four hours later, there were four of us left. I was one of the four, and they said, Hey, the Cairo 7 TV tomorrow morning, you're going to juggle on the... Uh, they were having a telethon. I don't know if you guys remember telethons, but that was a thing they used to have on local TV station years ago. So I juggled for the world record and i dropped about boy i don't even know if i made it 20 minutes <laughs> but with two weeks experience juggling i juggled for the world record and lost so that was just kind of a neat thing that made me think of it because you know mark was juggling and it's like i haven't juggled in a long time 20 years so just watching him do it i picked up some oranges i started to juggle it's like hey i can still do this i'm blind i'm deaf but I can still juggle. So I went and I bought some juggling balls and got them shipped. And uh, I've been just fooling around with them. I've been having a good time. So uh, 
Nonetheless, I have them sitting right here. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I've, I should say what I've learned, but it's just something neat, something I haven't done in a long time. Look, I got balls that glow. You couldn't get those 20 years ago. So, any, oh, no, I'm not as good at it as I used to be, but let's give it a try again. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we've got her going. Uh-oh, one of the balls went out. Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I thought that, uh, oh, thought that I wouldn't be able to do it. 25, 30 years later, here I am, and I can still do it. And, uh, so anyway, I also got these, and I thought, boy, I don't know, you know, I used to do these, but probably end up hurting myself, but I gave it a try, and let's see how I do. Maybe not the best, but we'll give it a shot. There it is. Yeah, I still got it. I still got it. But anyway, I uh, I don't know. It's something that really helps me relax. It, uh, I don't know, helps me unwind. And uh, it's something I plan on continuing to do. It's uh, fun. And uh, Anyway, I got to thank Mark Sargent for that. He's, uh, he's the one that juggled on the trailer and got me interested again. So uh, there you go. And uh, it's a good good time. Something worth learning if you guys need something to help you relax. Start with scarves. And uh, move on from there. Okay, that's that. Okay, these balls. It's very hard to turn them off. It's easy to turn them on. Very hard to turn them off. There we go. <sighs> what else? What else? Seems like so many things. You know, I want to say thanks to Mark and Patricia. These guys... They do so much. They do so much for this community. They've done so much for me. Uh, never asked for anything from me. Never asked for a dime. Never, you know, so much they've done for me. And, and I've never had the opportunity to do for them. And I wish I could. I'll think of something. But uh, what a what a great couple of people those, those people are. Really, uh, you know, people start all kinds of rumors, say all kinds of things. But they're wrong. I know these people. And... Uh, I just, I, I, they're great people. Nobody's done more for this community than they have. And, and you know, say what you will. They, uh, nobody works harder. Nobody's been under more scrutiny than they have. And they, they stick it out and they work hard. And I appreciate them for that. Okay, so I got that out. I want to say hi to Stephen Chess. This guy is, uh, you know, putting out his, his videos. And uh, I'm deaf. I was having trouble hearing him, so he got himself a new uh, camera, and it's got a really good microphone. It helps me out. Really nice that I can hear your videos now, Stephen. So if you haven't seen one of Stephen Chess's videos in a while, get over there. He's uh, adding sound. He's really getting uh, getting getting himself together. I want to say hi to Adam, Adam's Truth Journey. You uh, always make me smile, brother. You're so positive. You're so uh, uplifting. That... that inspires me to come out and try and put myself in front of a camera and uh it's not easy but you give me the courage uh let's see i want to say hi to frankie b he's been he's been killing it with the uh interviewing people i, I always enjoy that and wow i'm looking at my clicker here and i'm i'm at 13 minutes i better stop just want to say i love you guys and uh we'll see you in the next one